All right. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing today? Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know I certainly am. Welcome on in everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. My list. The pups and I are doing really well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Rachel, hello. Radra, hello. Excellent. Hello. Um, Lena, welcome on in. And Diamond, hello. Yes, more No Ingrid's aberration. It will be hard, Diamond, I'm not going to lie, but I'm hoping that I'll change your mind about how good it is because uh, it is, it's actually really fun. There's a lot of, like, um, creature taming up front, and then uh, later on you get into a lot of the, the drop stuff. So kind of waiting for drops to appear right now because I did just, I did just start up. It is single player, so there should be drops appearing soonish. I'm hoping. Um, but, yeah, we did get... Uh, we did get a health mute. Can't see. I just did this. And it keeps breaking. I just did this. We got a health mutation with a gray belly and gray legs. Um, so I'm actually very happy about that on my equus. So this equus is very good. I need to kill that one. But this one I'm going to raise. Health mutation equus. It's a good start. It won't protect me from the aberrant raptor pounce, but it will definitely help with uh, fighting other stuff. Jess, hello, hello. Um, this is great arc streamer. Thank you. I uh, I do my best. And it's a male. That's even better. All right, you need to come with me. Do, do, do. I will say, I have popped on. I popped on while I was getting the... Uh, picture for the thumbnail that's what it's called and uh, I did grab a couple of green drops while I was doing all of that so I do actually have now finally um I have a smithy blueprint and I have a pike blueprint and I have a medium crop plot blueprint it's fine unfortunately um I still don't have any foundation so we're waiting on that stuff so we'll see how that goes Making sure there's not a baby popping out on me just yet. Eh. Oh, so close. You see nothing. Definitely not using that to raise my raptors. Do, do, do. Hey. Also a level 55. Option. Nope. Behavior. Stance. Passive. Unclaim. Um, Jess, hello, hello. Dylan, how's it going? Tame to Ketzel this week. It has some good stats. That's fantastic. Alicia, today's a rough day and Ark Scorched. Oh no, Raven, what happened? What happened? Rachel, you get to play Ark on console for the first time. Rachel, what console are you using? Uh, do you have like a... <laughs> do you have an Xbox or a PS4? Or are you using Ark Switch? Because Ark Switch is looking pretty darn good. And I'm actually really hyped about it. Uh, video is incoming. This week has been insane. But the video, I'm hoping to get it out this week. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna I'm gonna set aside time, and if that's not enough, I just won't sleep. That's how it's gonna go. Stranger, hello. How's it going? Welcome on in. Thank you guys all so much for being here today. I realize that I've missed uh, off and on a couple of weeks for Pax West and other things, but I'm really glad I'm back. If I leave the area before they breed, they won't breed. This is the problem. Kind of like waiting on that. So this horse is holding all the stuff I've got. Right now, I'm doing okay. I have a spare pick and hatchet, which is great. Did pick up that gun during a earthquake. It's not great because I can't use it. Uh, got the smithy. Got this lovely pike. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, just need, need like foundations, need armor, need basics. We'll get there. You'll be getting a PS4 from a friend. That's pretty good. I may also gamma up to gamma 3 just just so that it's easier for you guys to see a little bit. Are Tech Dinos on mobile? Radra, no, they're really not, unfortunately. 
Um, I wish they were, but they are not. Started playing multiplayer. It's been great, but people killed your Pteranodon, so you gotta say more. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about playing PvP, is stuff people can destroy your stuff. It's not so great. But uh, it's usually fun if you team up with people and you, you get a little tribe going. There we go. That's one. I won't worry too much about the other just yet. Whee. Okay, let's go check uh, the spot and see if there's another drop over there. Guarantee if there is, it's going to be blue, which is upsetting. <laughs> you have your first unicorn in a Pandaria, but no Griffin Kibble. I know that pain. It's so hard to get Griffin Kibble, too. That's going to be that's going to be very difficult. Your best bet is to probably tame low-level griffins and try to just generate garbage eggs, like breed garbage eggs to get the kibble. Okay, what do we got up here? I can't tell if there's a drop up there. I don't see any up there. Maybe they're just not up yet. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Um... Aberration stream tonight. Good luck this evening. Thank you so much. Hopefully we do all right. Hopefully I don't run into a vicious raptor and uh, get my face murdered, but it could happen. Lost most of your dinos. Oh, no. How did you lose all of them? Did something spawn into the area that murdered them all, or was it just, like, bad luck when you're out and about? Because that will happen on Scorched, unfortunately. I've had a few run-ins with Deodon packs. Do, do, do. Drops, drops, no drops. No drops up, no drops down. Old dog. Raptors. Oh. No, that's not a blue drop. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way, try to avoid the raptors. Ooh, Carno over there. If I recall correctly, there's Ravagers over here. Luckily, the horse is very fast. Yeah. Must escape. Okay, this is a reasonable area. Looking for drops. I see none. That's going to be most of the day, is running around trying not to die. Occasionally breeding horses and raptors. And, uh, yeah, the goal is to get a little raptor army. See if I can't defend myself from things. Hmm. Carno. Spino. Don't see a ton of drops around here. I don't even know where some of them spawn over on this side. It's very tricky. Um, do I think they should add more dinosaurs on mobile? Yes. Itchy. Uh, they need the bug of strike save. I don't know that one. The rivalry buff. Ooh, the rivalry buff is very good. I didn't know there was a bug with that. Wonder if I can get all the way up here. Ugh. Apparently not. Apparently not. Not without something that jumps much higher than the Equus does. Nope. Can't get up top. That's sad. I mean, I have a pretty good view from up here. I should be able to see most drops if they're in the render. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of drops in render. Um, Rosalia, I am doing good. The doggos are doing good. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I had to leave them again this weekend. I was out of town until like three hours ago. So they were very upset with me because I had to leave them with a house sitter and they were sad that I left them for the second weekend in a row. But they're okay. They're doing good. Um, do I know a person whose name is Darksmith? Yes, I do. They are another uh, partnered Arc Mobile content creator. I haven't watched a lot of their stuff, though. So I will say I'm not super familiar with their videos or work. Okay, so I see scorpions. Turtles. A pony. I can probably clap that guy off for a little bit, let him charge. Nothing too crazy in the area. I guess I could knock out a turtle and try to kill it for the levels. Feels excessive. Feels mean. That's very glowy. Ah. A blue drop. A blue drop I cannot get to very easily. I wonder... I could probably make that jump, but I'm not level 35 yet, so it doesn't really matter. Jess, thank you for the super chat. I will pet the Jordodo. Let's come over here. And uh, I'll just stand in this area. It's relatively unexciting over here. Let me grab the Jordodo. Okay. I've petted the Jordodo. He's very cute. <laughs> he now lives in my background. Uh, where can you find Equus and Arc Mobile? They spawn in a couple of rare locations. So they spawn a little bit down by the lava cave. They spawn all along the river that runs up to the green obelisk from there. And then they also spawn... Um, a little bit in the area around Green Obelisk, like on the plains around Green Obelisk, and a little bit north of that, and then up into Smuggler's Pass. There are a couple of small locations on the west coast where they spawn as well, like just, just above Red Obelisk. They're fairly rare spawns. That's cool. Very cute, George Dodo. You love him. I thought it was funny. So this Dodo is actually one that I've had. Um, I got Jordan from Grove Street to actually hold it. And take a picture with me if you want to see the picture it is on twitter uh, <laughs> it's pretty fantastic so he let me keep the the dodo that he was holding in the picture so now its name is your dodo and it lives in my stream background unless people ask me to pet it black sands near volcano yeah yeah near the oh that's true yeah the the redwoods river the river just north of the redwoods on the volcano side also spawns horses. That's a very good place to find them. Thank you, Jess. Um, how was my weekend? Blinded Starflight. It was good. It was very busy. Uh, very fun, though. It was crazy. As I, as I was saying earlier, I was out of town, so I was um, actually off doing, doing life things, doing real life things, being a good friend. And, uh, yeah, that went well. I'm very nervous of those Ravagers. I wish I had a spyglass. Because I want to see what level those Ravagers are. Because I would actually be tempted to lure one away and try to tame the low level. Like, kick it. Because I'm pretty fast, but I don't know if I'm faster than a Ravager. I don't know if I'm faster than a Ravager. I think I want a higher level pony first. Before I attempt to tame a Ravager friend. What's better, RG or Griffin? I'm going to say Griffin. They're more maneuverable. They can't pick up creatures, really, or at least not nearly as effectively. That's a Raptor. I'm going away from those. But they are, like, they're faster. They're more maneuverable. They do more damage. They attack faster. Like, they're just, they're a very solid 
tame as far as it goes. I adore griffins. I think once you get like an imprinted griffin, um, particularly if you get even a couple of mutations on them, they're very strong. The imprints and the mutations are, are really good on those. So I kind of prefer griffins, at least on mobile. On PC, probably the RG, because griffins on PC are extremely buggy and not very good. Um, terrible cold and headache all week. Oh no, blinded. I'm glad the stream can cheer you up. I hope that it, uh, I hope the headache isn't too bad right now so that my voice doesn't get you. Hug the Jordodo. Thank you, Diamond. I'm hugging the Jordodo. It's adorable. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Diamond. Super appreciate it. Um, can't breed an arc PC. Yeah, you can't breed them in arc PC. Griffins are not great. Uh, oh, but it's only got 10 left. That's fine. It'll break and then maybe we'll get a green one. Need green drops. Need green drops. Nothing. I can't wait to get a Ravager with a saddle and then just ride the zip lines everywhere. It's going to be so good. Um, in the meantime, that's my Raptor guard. I need a couple of them to feel a little safer. Um, aberration, the map itself scares you. I'm at your window. Why? What about it scares you? I'm genuinely curious because aberration is probably my favorite map. There's a couple of creepy things about it, sure, but it's gorgeous. Like, it's a beautiful map. So, I'm a pretty big fan of it. Oh, you did the breeding thing. Good. Good, good, good. You need to grow up faster, sir. Actually, you know what I should do? Yeah, one mutation. Uh. Male health mute one. One health mutation on that male. Got about a minute left till the next baby. I'm looking for a health line and a melee line. Those are the big ones. I'm not super worried about weight, but I would do a weight or a stamina mutation as well. What's better, a Spino or Giga? Giga. Giga for sure. A Spino's faster. And will get you around quicker and has better stamina. But the Giga is infinitely more powerful, for sure. Um, if you're in the water, you definitely want a Spino over a Giga, because Gigas cannot swim. They do die. You'd say Aberration is harder than Scorched Earth. I would agree. Um, aberration is a little harder than Scorched Earth in its own way. Uh, I think Scorched Earth has more initial challenges, and Aberration has more endgame challenges. Um, that's like the major difference. But I do enjoy both. A lot. I think they are the harder DLCs, and I love them for that reason. The maps are also more interesting than a lot of the other DLCs. Scott, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, <laughs> the pups and I did have a good weekend. I think the pups had a good weekend. Poppy's mad at me because I left her twice, but the other ones are okay. They're, they're just happy I'm back. And they had a good time. They liked the person who was watching them, so it's all good. Um, and my weekend was great. It was... Uh, it was just really fun. It was a lot. It was work. Uh, I was helping a friend pick out a wedding dress. So, it was fun. But it's that's a lot of shopping in one day. <laughs> and kind of stressful shopping, too. But she did find a dress, so there is that. Um, do, 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 do. Unfortunately, that friend lives uh, pretty far away, so there was like a bit of a road trip and an overnight stay. Two overnight stays, really. 
Um, da -da -da. <laughs> here before she popped in, while camera wise that is. Mm -hmm. If you were a billionaire, I'd give her a million dollars. Aw. Thank you, Dylan. I mean, a million dollars is not that much for a billionaire, if you think about it. It's a lot of money to like me, but it's definitely not to a billionaire. They've got a ton. What's the smallest map in Ark? Smallest map in Ark is probably Scorched Earth. Aberration is also very small, but it's also got a lot of vertical space, so it doesn't feel as small. Scorched Earth feels small, like pretty significantly so. <clears throat> Are there Castoroides on Aberration? Uh... N no, they're roll rats. Um, roll rats are the wood gatherers for aberration. Uh, I don't believe there are castoroides on aberration. I'm trying to remember if there are any in the blue zone, and I don't think there are. I think they're just not something that was added to the map. I'm trying to look for. Excuse me while I do weird things with my camera. I'm trying to look for more drops up above. Ah, there's a green drop way up there that I will never, ever be able to get to. <sighs> that'll take that'll take some serious Ravager nonsense to get to. Or potentially a, a Rock Drake if I make it that far. I need green drops. Oh, that's so tempting. And I just honestly don't know any way up there. Without a Ravager. Like, there's a couple of zip lines I can use to get up there, but they're... Not from here. Very sad. Very sad. Um... Schwalb is my husband. No. <laughs> Schwalb is not. I've never actually met Schwalb in person. Not my husband. Thank you, though. Uh, Dylan, can I promise you that I can make a video on YouTube about the pups? You really want to see them. I have, uh, videos and pictures of them all over my Instagram, if you want to check that out. I believe it's the Iguana Games, um, is my, my at, my follow there. But I could definitely consider doing, like, a YouTube video of the dogs. I could even do some, like, training videos with the dogs, because that would be really fun. But I would have to do, like, a second channel for that. I don't think that's something that would fit well on this channel. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Ravagers exist. I don't want to go that way. I'm really tempted to play with the Ravagers, let me tell you. For whatever reason, I'm feeling brave today. Feeling a little bit brave today. This might be a mistake. This horse does not have a lot of health. There are only two of them. But the bleed is pretty significant. I'm going to wait until I have another health mute imprinted horse. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go worry about the equus. And when that equus has grown up, I'm going to breed it to the breeders and get an imprinted equus that has a health mutation that I can spare. So then I'll have a baseline 700 health as opposed to 200. Maybe then I will go and try to knock out the, uh, the Ravager. I can't tell if the Stego has made a mistake or if the Raptor has made a mistake. I'm pretty sure the Raptor made a mistake. Yes, it did. Okay, well, I don't want to hit the stegos, because I am not a fool. Yay. Yeah, I'll take that. Eat a bunch of berries. Ah! Stego, please. 
Oh, there's another couple of raptors down there now. Dang it. I don't like it. I just wanted my drops, man. Now I can't go anywhere again. That's the worst part. All right, let's gather a few berries. Do you need climbing picks, Ravager, Rock Drake, Nods. Ooh, climbing picks would also be good. I could get up there with climbing picks. It would not be easy, but I could do it. Something to keep in mind if I find a, a drop of climbing picks. I'm hoping. I, I mostly want, like, a foundation at all. Because if I had a single foundation, I could get a smithy and a forge going, and I could make myself a decent pike. Oh, then I wouldn't be quite so defenseless. That's the dream right now. All right, let's do a little more breeding. I have done this many times, game. There it is. Game really doesn't like this rock, but I do. Feel safe up here. Do, do, do. Do, do. Not imprinting him. Level 55, you're terrible. Come with me. Murder time. Come on. Do not need. Change that behavior. Options, unclaim. Um, feel like you would lose all sense of direction on ab. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not familiar with the map, it's very easy to get lost. Ooh, I gotta level up. Cool. I've got two tech raptors. I don't need that. Um, I think I need to use one of those to breed. Try to get that going again. Sure. Why not? Let's do health. All right, you're only 50% imprinted. You, I think, are the one I wanted to breed with. Du, du, du. They're so bright. Yes, I wanted to breed the level 73 and Merlot here. Close enough. Close enough. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to let them do their thing. Make some eggs. Um, JT, how's it going? Welcome on in. Do health mutations really add that much HP? Red core. Well, no, this is also a um, mixed level horse, and I had finally gotten mutations stacked. So I had a level, I think I had a, a horse with 600 health, um, 55 levels, level 55, 600 health, got a mutation, now it's got 700 health. So it's a good amount that horses get per level. And it's not the biggest difference. Yeah, 737 is the base health on that guy versus my level 55s have 645. So it's almost 100 points. You are also useless. I always do that. Um... Doo -doo. Is there such a thing as tech taps? 
No, but there's the tech uh, tap saddle. There's a saddle for him that's tech, but there's not an actual tech tap. Speedy got a level two. Very proud. And Speedy is going to get that level in movement speed. Because we're going to be stupid fast. That's the goal. I want to be so fast, nothing ever has a chance to catch me. Alright, you're just standing. You got a few. Alright, 64.5%. Not bad. I'll take it. All right, let's get some raptor eggs going. No drops yet. Sad day. Waiting for them green drops to show up. Okay. A regular egg and a fertilized egg. Ooh. Stuff, thanks. No. Nope. Gas balls. That's cool. A lot of stuff in the gas cloud. too close to the pointy mushroom, but it's okay. I'm looking for tools. I don't see any. Big sad. Alright. Fine. Okay, they got a little while before they give me another egg. I'll take this one up top. Looking for a level 85 male. That's the goal. <laughs> um, bye, Mylis. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, if your tools break, can you repair them if you have the materials? Yes. Um, if it's not a metal tool. So the basic tools that you can craft by hand, you can repair by hand. If you had to make something in a smithy, you typically have to repair it in a smithy. So if I find a metal tool, I need to have a smithy to repair that if I break it. That's the that's the only real difference there. Oh, I had that. Oh my gosh. I swear. This rock. That worked. Really? Oh, game, please. Nope. It's really not cooperating with me today. Whatever. Everything I do is just a little bit off. Um, doo -doo. You have to stick with hanging out in chat. Not a lot of people have the patience for God to put up with you in any other way. Aw, red. Sure, it's not that bad. Uh, some saddles give smithy ability. Yes, that's true. Uh, RG saddle is one of those. Castroides saddle is another. There's a couple of saddles that will give you cool abilities. There we go. Happens to be the right temperature all the time here. I like it. 
All right, we got about four minutes to go on you, 12 minutes to go on you, not bad. Some no drops in this area, that's a bummer. <laughs> is what it is, I guess. We'll keep an eye out. Um, Blinded Starfly, that's fantastic. Congrats on the PC. I hope it's everything you're hoping it will be. Are you good on berries? No, you're good on berries. I'm going to get these guys spread out enough to put the uh, male health mute right in between them. Okay. Three, four. Breeder one, breeder two. Three, four. This is breeder zero. There we go. There. All right. I got them all sorted now. Now I feel good about it. Um uh, no climber in Arc Mobile, no good to travel. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Yes, there are no climbers in Arc Mobile. That's specifically because if you had a climber in Arc Mobile, you'd probably be crashing your game, like, all the time. Because the, uh, mobile game is not really built for that kind of... <laughs> the mobile map isn't built for that kind of use, basically, and you would be falling through it constantly and losing your stuff, and then everyone would be upset. Um... And then they'd be like, why did they bring climbers to mobile? When right now they're like, why can't they bring climbers to mobile? It is what it is. <laughs> Love it when I go to Skyrim on the cliffs. I mean, that's kind of what you got to do up here. Really not a lot of choice. I'm going to go down and grab this other raptor egg. Because I know it exists. Do a little parkour on my pony. All right, disabling. I have two raptor eggs, good enough for now. It's a lot to manage if I get more than that. Ah. Velocigody, hello, how's it going? You loved the Noglin hat? I love the Noglin hat too. It's, it's very cute. I actually don't love Noglins, but I like the hat a lot. Noglins freak me out a little. Do, do, do. Still must parkour pony on here. Grief is a process. Yeah, Scott, I feel ya. I miss, uh, I miss parkour pony as well. Luckily, his spirit lives on. All of my ponies are parkour ponies in some shape or form. We have a baby raptor. It is a level 73. It is a male. All right, what do we got for food? Did I forget? No. Here, eat some prime meat first. Because I'm lazy and I don't feel like feeding you. Uh, behavior, stance, passive. Just in case. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm going to try to imprint it, but... It is what it is. Um... <laughs> Good night, JT. Thank you so much for hanging out. Do appreciate it. Bye, Blinded. Thank you so much for hanging out as well. Can we see the trike plushie? Oh my gosh, she's in the other room. You want to see Chester? I need to make the ears stand up more. On, uh, on the Noglin hat, I agree. I feel like it's nice and loose on your head. Like, it's a very loose hat. Like, I can actually wear it over my headphones. That's how loose it is. But I would like to see it be a little bit, like, stiffer in the antenna and stuff so that those stood up more. I don't know. It's a little difficult. It's fun to pull them up, but it's also, like, eh, 
It's a lot of work. <laughs> Thyla would break Arkham of old. This is true. Yes, it would. No, 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 no. No. Oh, you're mutated and everything. Gosh dang it. The struggle is real. Stop running. Okay, as long as he's following me, we're okay. Behavior, stance, passive. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is mutated. It is. I don't know what your mutation is, but I'm raising you all the same, and I'll find out later. Okay, come back over here. Ah, uh, so much to sort out. Okay. Okay, you're fine. I'm gonna give you this food. You'll be hungrier. Uh, not you. Where's Speedy? Where did I put Speedy? There it is. I need some of these aqua mushrooms. Okay, and now because I'm gonna starve to death, I'll eat an egg and a bunch of berries. That should prevent me from starving to death. After eating all those mushrooms. Okay. Very good. I think it might be either the orange. I think it might be the orange. It's very hard to tell. I wasn't expecting a mutation this soon. Uh, you know the person who makes those? She did make your Jerboa plushie. <gasps> Wait, Diamond, you know the person who makes the uh, the Noglin hats and the, and the Dodo plushies for Ark? The official one? About the Megalania? What about them, Jack? Plushies remind you of Beanie Babies. I know, right? Um, but Jess, if you want me to if you want me to bring Chester in, Chester is my new trike plushie, I will bring him in. He's quite large and very squishy. I'm pretty happy with that. Eat those first. Eh. I'm not allowed to imprint you because I don't know what your stuff is yet. Please do. I would love to see him. Okay. I'll be as fast as I can. <laughs> be right back, guys. Uh, enjoy looking at the baby raptors for a second. Okay. This is Chester. He's very large. He's very green. I love him very much. He's got cute little spots. Um, and he's got this lovely frill. <laughs> he was uh, definitely something I did not need, but I saw him and I fell in love immediately. And he's so much bigger than the Ark Dodo. <laughs> Uh, she didn't make the dodo plushes, but she did make the Noglin hats. That's really cool. That's actually really, really cool. <gasps> it's green. Oh. Guys, I can make a fish basket. I don't even know what I'll do with a fish basket, but I can make one. What am I going to do with that? I can tame fish and transport them. I don't know where to. Copy, this is not for you. Copy very much wants to chew on Chester and it's a problem. 
You should see her face right now. It's pathetic. Little dog. Tame trilobites. Oh, that's an idea. Chester, so cute. I know, right? Rachel, um, I got Chester at PAX West. So PAX West. Puppy, quit sniffing him. He's not for you. She keeps nudging his tail. No, this is not your toy. She likes soft, fluffy toys. I let her. I usually get her the lamb chop toys, and she loves those. I think Chester is like much more stuffing than she uh, is used to from a toy, and she's very excited about the possibility that he might be for her. But I want him to live, so that's not gonna happen, Kopi. And now she's pouting because I won't give her the toy. <laughs> So close. I think I'm level 28. All right, we'll get there eventually. Eventually. I think it's level 35 and then 45. Um, yeah, so I got I got uh, Chester from a booth at PAX West. I got real excited when I saw him because he's super cute. Uh. Pulled him down off the shelf and was like, okay, I'm getting him. This is how it's going. I need this toy. <laughs> Green drop up there. That's upsetting. Gotta watch out for the raptors down here. There are several raptors down here. They're chasing a parasaur. Of course, the parasaur is going to run this way. That could work for me. Could actually work for me. Alright, Speedy, let's check this out. Alright, um... Okay, no... No drop at the waterfall, no drop up there. All right. No drop up there in the corner. And I don't want to spend too much time by the lake because there are a lot of ravagers there and it's a little scary. Oh, those raptors are so mean. Oh, that weighed me down a little. Do not like. Okay. Can't see it anymore. Green drop right there. I want it. Um, he needs to live on the top shelf of my background. The trike, he's huge. I can definitely put him up there. He'll probably be safer up there than uh, anywhere the dogs can reach him, honestly. They're usually pretty respectful of my stream background. I'd have to move my uh, skulls, though. That would be sad. Um, aw, Alley Cat, thank you. Rekker says, please, Mom, may I have the toy? Exactly. That's exactly what Kopi is saying. She got very excited when I picked him up. I'm like, no, he's not for you. She's like, you left me two weekends in a row, and now you won't even give me a toy, Mom. Very upset, dog. I mean, there's a lot of jewels. I guess I'll pick up the blue gems. I'm really not that concerned about other stuff. I wanted the blue gems. And I want any tools or things that fall down. 
I did get the apprentice pistol, so it's not a hopeless case. I can get good tools. Problem is, uh... I can't use a pistol. Last guy says, dang, I missed him. Missed who? Who did you miss, Velocigody? Megalania aren't in mobile? Ah, uh, Megalania break your game in Arc Mobile. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. Um, they can climb walls and things, and the view, the camera view is actually fairly complicated. Just, they would be able to, like, climb up a wall and then glitch through it basically because of the way the map is built there are more holes than there are on pc like the the structures are not as solid as you would think so if you're not very very careful um it's quite possible that if we were to have wall climbing things um that you would just completely break your game so there's there's a good reason Megalania and Thyla aren't on mobile, sadly. Dogs are very good at the whole guilt trip thing, despite not being able to speak to us. Oh, Kopi's like a master. She has this little pout she does. It's very sad. This is very good XP. I feel so bad doing it, but it's such good XP. Enjoy your... Enjoy your meat. Raptors are happy. Okay, 10 minutes for that guy. I don't even know if that'll be a thing. Okay. Ah, it's dark. My light. My bulb dog went out. And Velocicotti, if you were saying you missed Chester. Right here. He's big. Um, trying to figure out where I can set him that Kopi won't grab him. He barely fits up there. He's so big. I had to move my skulls, too. Is what it is. Um, I have a good iPad, like an iPad Pro. I do. I do have a good iPad. Uh, it is not... It's not an iPad I typically use uh, for gaming, though. So, I can. I probably will at some point. I want to do like a hundred days brutal hardcore or a brutal hardcore server, and I think I'm gonna do that with that. But it's not something I do yet. I really want to make this really bad. And the smithy. Oh, I just need to be able to put the forge somewhere, and then I can make the smithy. I have the stuff, and then I can get metal. I can make this pike. Oh. I'd have weapons. It would be incredible. Oh, the horse is almost grown. That makes me happy. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. I need another uh, egg from the raptors, actually. Now that I think of it. Yeah. Because neither of those was a level 85 male. Wrong raptor. It's a behavior thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Dream. I want blue drops. I could open so many drops if I could get to level 35. <laughs> Jester's now a permanent fixture in Iggy's background. Um, 
I don't know. I like him up there for sure. He's uh, nearly as cute as my Bulbasaur, but he's also very soft and squishy, and I might decide that I want to sleep with it. So we'll see. We'll see. He's very cuddly. I might use him as like a pillow on the couch. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with him yet. Does the path behind my base lead anywhere or just a dead end? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, it leads to the surface, Jess. And if I go to the surface right now, I will die. Because <laughs> the surface is very dangerous. It's full of uh, Reaper Kings. And it's full of fire during the day. And very good drops at night, which is a dream. But I don't feel like I'm ready to go to the surface on a horse. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. I might try that one of these days, though. We'll see. Once we get a PC or computer, we should play together. Uh, one N. I do have patron servers, so you're more than welcome to join. Bill Scotty Chester's so cute. Him round boy. He is so round. Ooh. Oh. Green drop. Green drops make me happy. Green drops and white drops are the ones I can get right now. Very excited. I like living this close to so many drops. <gasps> guys, guys, guys. That's a ghillie chest piece. That's the first piece of, like, quote-unquote armor. Now I just need to find... I can make that in my inventory. I just need to find the, uh, the stuff, the stuff. What's it? Organic polymer. Hmm. I don't want too many raptors at once. Let me see how much meat I have. Did I leave a bunch on you? I did. What about you? You have some. You can spare some. Spare some for a baby. This is armor! I know! And it's even better because it's a blueprint. So it's not a ton of armor, but it's something. I will take it. Any little bit of armor is helpful. Scott, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Chester would make a good nap pillow. Yes, he would. That's why I was thinking I'd put him on the couch. I have to just be careful because I know that Kopi will uh, try to eat him if I leave him out. So I'll have to, I'll always have to keep him like up and out of the way. So maybe he'll live in the background and I'll bring him down when I want to nap. I'm thinking that might be the way. That's a score. I know, right? Smoo, hello. I am having a very good day. Thank you so much for asking. Well, kind of asking. Thank you so much for hoping. I hope you're also having a great day and I hope the little one is doing well. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, I did it. So hard to get up here. It's sneaky armor. I know, that's even better. Not that I'm riding any sneaky creatures, but sneaky armor makes a... Uh... I'm just going to do a big circle. Sneaky armor makes getting passive tames a little easier. Dun, dun, dun. Um, all people wanted a climbing creature in Arc Mobile. Yes, 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 but they would break the game. And I would rather have a functioning game and no climbers than uh, one particular dino that is a climber but would trash my game. There's a balance there. Yeah, I guess you're just going to do what you're going to do with that. There you go. Please be the right one. I just need a 31 organic pol polymer. I swear I've gotten organic polymer before. I swear I have. I have fiber. I have hide. It's organic polymer. I thought I had some of that. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, it wouldn't be on any of these. Hmm. Okay. 
You know what this means, guys. I need to breed up a tech raptor army and go take down a Karkanos. That's what I gotta do. That's the plan now. Lead them into battle. Actually, you know what? Eat this. Well, that's inconvenient. Fine. I can't actually see how long he wants Karen. 135, okay. That's about right. It's fine. I'll just hang around for a minute. Meh. It will work. Yes, I have two raptors already. How many do you think I'll need to take on a low-level Karkanos? At least three, because he'll grab two. Probably four or five. Probably four or five raptors. I'll have three after this. Maybe four. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I probably did get some organic polymer, but it may have spoiled by now. I mean, it stacks. I thought I'd grab some at some point, but maybe not. I'm trying to think of what else drops organic polymer other than the Carcanos. And it's like escaping me right now. I don't know. Because it wouldn't be the, uh, wouldn't be trilobites. Wouldn't be any of the little creatures. It's basically penguins, mantis, carcanos. One for each map. Um. Ah, uh, Bub's been a bit sick, but getting better. I'm glad he's doing better. Oh my gosh. Much better. Makes me happy. Level seventy-eight. It is a male. Not mutated. All right. We'll keep them. You want cooked prime meat? Well, heck you. That's not going to happen. Mm, behavior, stance, passive. I'm upset with this guy for wanting something I can't deliver. The good news is I can keep all of my raptors fed this way. <laughs> Oddly enough. Take the meat. Take the meat. There we go. Ooh, he's grown up. Okay. Oh, this is going to be good, guys. I'm going to have so many baby horses for a little bit. Ah! Okay. I need a spare health mute baby. I will take literally the first or one or two babies. Make that a thing. How long do you have to go? Literally a minute. I guess I'll hang around that long. Then I want to ride out and do a little scan of the area. Thank you, guys. Thank you, chat, for the bless yous. Um... <laughs> Mantis and penguins are the two coming to mind. Snails. Oh, snails. That's right. Aberrant snails are in the blue zone. That's dangerous. But I might be able to pull it off. It's risky. It's real risky. 
But if I bring in a few raptors, it might be okay. And it might be easier than trying to take on a whole crab. You want to walk? I'm sorry you're mutated. I can't. I still don't know what your mutation is. 563 something. 435. There's the baby. 640. Is it food? 182, 192, 196. Ah. 155. Could be melee, could be food. Not sure. Unclear. Dang. Uh, I think there's a plant in the elemental, elemental zone that gives you organic poly. Yeah, there's a couple of ways to get it here. There's a couple of ways to get it. I'm just not entirely sure what they all are. It's been a while since I've played Aberration, so this is a little, like... Trying to remember, but I don't know if I remember, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> there we go. Okay. They've been bred. They've been bred. They are growing. Uh... Ow. I should breed those guys again, but I want to take a beat. Let's take a beat. Let's go look for let's go look for drops real quick. Scout the area. Take a look around. See if there's anything that might drop organic polymer. And we'll go from there. Breed tech parasaurus, kill the babies, boom, instant electronics, elements, dust, and oil, and scrap metal. Yes. Yeah. Um that's actually one of my plans. I'm at your window. I have tech um raptors, so that's one of my plans for all of that stuff. To get those materials, but I don't need to do that just yet. Scary raptor boys. Don't want to be there. And then over here, there should be scary ravager boys. Yep, Scary Ravager Boys. Just the two of them. Sarko, a pony. Bunch of raptors down by the waterfall, but there's no drop, no drop. I don't see any drops. Okay. Hmm. Oh, good. One of these. Nope, I'm going to go over here first. Where I can see. I'm trying to think of what else gives organic poly. There's got to be some. Um, A glider can break your Ark mobile game? Uh, yes, it could. It could. Because, Scott, they don't work off exactly the same model as the parachute. The gliders have different controls. And I imagine the way that they work, I think they might be able to be added, but there's really not much point to adding them. Uh... Largely because there's really not a lot of places to glide off of that you couldn't glide off with, like, a terror bird anyway. Would still be tricky. Would still be a bad idea, probably. I want that green drop up top. It's lasting so long. I want it so bad.
there would be a blue drop up there. That figures. That figures. Just out of reach. Okay. Gimme. Oh, it broke. That's cool. Okay. I'll have water for a while. Kind of looking to see. I know where some Karkanos are. I know how to get down into the blue zone, but there's a rock drake there. There's a lot of raptors in the area. I think the best thing to do is to keep on with the raptor army, to be honest, and trying to get a better horse, um, a stronger horse. I think that's honestly the way. I hate it. Because it takes forever, but I'll do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else would drop it. Um, Maywing can break the Arc mobile game. Yeah, could. You're playing Fjorder and you found a tamed 140 Carno. Found and tamed a 140 Carno. Congrats! That's fantastic! Carnos are one of my favorite creatures, as I'm sure you all know. A lot of the new gliders, but their abilities definitely wouldn't work. The mobile does already have its own glider-type creatures. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, it's got the Terror Bird. It has the Archaeopteryx. Those, the Archaeopteryx works off the same mechanics as a parachute. They're nearly identical in how they work mechanically. Um, yeah, my real concern with uh, the glide suit is the variable speeds, which I guess you have some of already with the Griffins. But it's a little trickier. A little trickier when a person's doing it. Plus, you can use those in caves, and I imagine that would not go over very well. Um, plus, it would also make it too easy to get past certain caves. Not that there aren't other ways to get past them very easily, but it's the principle. Alright, level 85. It is a food mutation. Alright. So that raptor up there is uh, a food mute. So I really don't care about her. So she's part of the army as well. <laughs> we know your love of Carnos, the little hands. They're so cute. Uh, Magmanar can break your Ark mobile game? Yes, yes they could. They are very graphically intense and they very nearly break the PC game, honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Chris Ricker, I'm hoping so because, honestly, I love mobile games. I think mobile gaming is a great idea. The problem is, is that mobile game development is not up to par um, with what it could be. Like, Ark on mobile is probably the best game I've played on mobile. COD Mobile's all right. It's a little funky. The menus drive me crazy. That's pretty standard for a mobile game. But I'd like to see more true game development. I want to see single-player storyline games. I want to see, you know, open-world survival games. I want to see a larger selection of games that aren't these weirdly monetized, off-brand cash-grab apps that only focus on, like, ridiculous monetization schemes that are honestly a ripoff. Um... Yeah, it kind of destroys the whole mobile gaming experience for me. I'm really hoping that we start seeing some people take the mobile market a little more seriously because, again, it's mobile. It's a fantastic idea. You can take it with you anywhere. You can take it with you to work. Everyone has a phone. I don't understand why it's not a bigger market right now. Um, or at least why people aren't putting more effort into the games they put on mobile. Feels like there's a a big market there for very good games that just aren't available yet. Um, a one forty Dismodius. I love the bats. The bats are so good. Yes, we'll be singing Jingle Bat this Christmas, Scott. Eh. Here we go. Let me out. Let me out. 
What did you want? A walk? Might as well give the imprint, since you're useless anyway. Get that little bit of extra melee. Come here. Can't do it with you, but I wanted to. Um. Okay. Uh. It's level fifty-five. It's garbage. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done up front in terms of breeding on this game. It's weird because it almost flips the arc meta on its head playing a No Ingrams game on Aberration. I'm doing a lot of breeding very soon in the game just to be able to go around and collect drops. And that's not really something you have to think about so much. Um, I don't know why I gave you the stone, but there you go. Got those. You can have those. Oh. Just a few more minutes, and hopefully we will have some decent equus to imprint. Very excited for this. We're getting a, a good little runaround army. You think the Mana's face is so cute? Monogamers? I love them. I think they're adorable. I actually really like the creature in general. I think they're very beautiful, but they are a little overpowered. Like. Like a lot overpowered. <laughs> Okay. I have a lot of babies. I have like a whole lot of animals. Those green crystals fooled me for a second. Ugh. No. I hate when we slide off to the side. It's the worst. Um, Wyverns break your arc mobile games? Yes, they do. They do. Right now, the Wyvern cannot be added to arc mobile. Um... Because of the breath effects, like the breath effects are too intense, they would also break the game. Cause crashes. Kind of like the Capro Pounce does, but worse. Blue drop up there is a tease. Want me to play last day on Earth Survival, but it's so heavy with mine cash check session that you gave it up. Yeah. Yeah, I played it for a little while too, and then I was like, you know... I really hate the timers on mobile games. I don't understand the function. I'm like... Putting in a forced timer where you have to, like, wait an hour to continue playing the game seems like a bad idea because isn't the whole idea of gaming that you want someone playing your game and then you're literally making it impossible to play the game? Don't understand the paradigm. Don't understand it at all. Makes no sense to me, but there you go. Spacky, you can cripple wild dino stamina. Mm-hmm. I like that very much about them. Oh, I'm excited for these. I hope that I have two health mute babies. Level 57. Level 57. The color could have been more interesting, but I don't care as long as it gets the health. Because I bet imprinted this gets up to 1k health, which is like a huge boost over what Speedy's got. Would be good. Goose army, raptor army, bulldog army. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jess. The only one I'm not actively working on right now is the bulldogs. And I honestly could work on those. I'm just like, oh, it's exhausting. So I bred up a couple so I have spares. And then I'm taking a break from that while I do these guys, basically. And I'll worry about the bulldogs later. All right, let's... uh. Nope, it's a level 73. I'm not having a lot of luck with the raptors. Okay. Another one to imprint. Gotta wait till it grows up a tiny bit. 
need this weight to go up just a little more. There we go. All right. Everybody's passive, I think. I hope. Yeah, I think the level 78 is my next one. Please be level 57. It's called greed. Yeah. Dang it. Yes. You. You live. Speedy, I need some berries. This one lives. The other one dies. Do you have an Iguanodon army too? I could, and I do have very high level Iguanodons. But I can't ride them until I get a saddle, and I don't know when I'll be able to get a saddle. Probably not for a while. So I'm not stressing about it too much yet. You can have more prime. You can have more meat. Perfect. All right. The goal is to imprint this baby Equus. Take the berries. Okay. Cool. Almost, guys. We're almost there. Four raptors. Six raptors, because I have two already done. My level 55 is going. Okay. I think we're going to do all right. I'm happy with it. Got to play Ark soon. I also love your content. Uh, Bob, thank you. I hope you enjoy Ark. I love the game very, very much. Obviously. I don't want another raptor right now. It's too many. Too many. I've got these two. Alright, let's go take a poke around. See what we can find. Blue drop, blue drop. There are two blue drops there. One lower down, one higher up. This is a great area if you have a rock drake. That's all I'm saying. Rip the horse. Yeah. Listen, it didn't want the it didn't want the extra bonus health. It didn't need to stay. Them's the rules. At least for now. Can't afford uh to have weak horses. It will get me killed out here. Still not seeing anything down there. Still not seeing anything up there. Oi. There are a bunch of raptors over there, but I don't see any glow. Oof. I will say, Aberration does have a fish over spawn problem. That poor Sarko cannot eat that horse. It's trying so hard. Terrible. Just need some organic polymer somehow. Wooden cage makes a great raptor trap. I can't make them. This is a knowing grooms game. I can only make things that I uh, have blueprints for from drops or find off of dead creatures. Currently, I have a fish basket, a forge, and a smithy blueprint, and a pike blueprint, but no foundations, no armor, no other tools, no weapons. I have found 
two picks and two hatchets, both stone. I got a little ways to go. I'll find them eventually. I'll get all the things I need eventually. It's just going to be a little while. I need to build up a pack. I need to wander around. I need ravagers, really, to get to the drops efficiently and not die everywhere I go. Ravagers are kind of fabulous for that. Ooh. That's a little close. No. Oh, well. My point turn didn't work. Let's do it again. Okay. Really? This game, I swear. I don't understand, but whatever. We'll do it again, I guess. We'll get there eventually. Only the strongest survive, mm hmm? Bring around the Sarko. Actually, it's Ring Around the Pony. He was trying to eat a pony. Ring Around the Pony. Big muscle of teeth. Water drop, water drop. We all starve to death. I don't know. Terrible, but that's, uh, that's kind of what his story was. Oh my goodness. Why is this rock being so uncooperative right now? I hate it. Sometimes I get a first try. Sometimes it takes 20. I don't like you. I'll go do the mushrooms. The mushrooms are nicer to me. Oh good, a drop, ugh. What do we got? Anything? Mostly junk. Mostly junk. Good news is if I stand here it'll all kind of sprout right around me. But I don't think we'll find another tool for a while. Odds are not great. Um, you need that song as a ringtone? I mean, you can download the audio file from YouTube. If you have an Android, you can make it a ringtone. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think iTunes lets you make custom ringtones anymore, which is very disappointing. <laughs> Got this bad rock. It's is annoying. It's not a great rock, we'll say that. A tool, a weapon, a metal pick would be incredible. Perhaps. Perhaps, mayhaps. Nothing. <sighs> well, it was a nice dream. Oh my gosh, I have so many ponies now. I love it. Little 55. Behavior, stance, passive. This is a lot of dead equus. Didn't realize there was a mushroom there. a good amount of meat. If I let them grow up, they make better meat for the babies. I'll cuddle you. You're still garbage. You can have a little extra. You have food. You might need some. You're doing okay. Alright. We're getting there. I'm very proud of this equus. I'm excited. How close are you? Oh, 
Another baby's coming out soon. They're on like opposites. Baby Equus goes boom now. It's level 55. I'm just going to let it starve. Like, I want to kill it, but I want to let it grow up a little to give more meat. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, Red Cross says Galaxy. Galaxy should let you change your ringtone. It's a Samsung. You should be able to get the files to do what you want. Oh, Speedy's got another level. Speedy's even faster now. It's a little ridiculous how fast Speedy is. I like it. You're almost grown. You're almost grown. Eh. Gosh, they're so bright. I might get a second imprint on you if I'm here at the right time. Doesn't matter. I will use you to breed if I don't. How long do we got? Seven minutes? Four minutes? That's weird. Why are they always on opposite schedules? Okay. We're getting close, guys. Um, Rosalia, hello. What did you miss and how am I today? Well, I found a ghillie armor blueprint, but I don't have a way to get organic polymer right away. Um, I'm breeding up a little bit of a raptor army. I am working on mutations for Equus. I'm thinking... Once I get a good Equus, which I have a higher level Equus here with a health mutation. So I'm going to imprint it and then I'm going to use that as my new getting around horse. And uh, I think, I think once I do that, I'm going to take a few raptors and I'm going to see if I can't get some organic polymer, maybe get a chest piece. I'm also going to see if I can't maybe tame a Ravager. That would be a bit of a stretch goal, but you never know. Doesn't hurt to try. I have a lot of spare horses now. I am never comfortable, guys. I am constantly shifting in these chairs. It's ridiculous. Okay, they're doing the breeding thing. I'm honestly just waiting for horses now and raptors. Ugh. Three minutes to baby. Five minutes to baby. This raptor's almost grown. I don't think I'll get a 100% imprint on this raptor. We tried, though. Once I figured out what the mutation was, I tried. I still don't know what the color mutation is. You know, it might be the lights. I think it's the lights. Because the lights on these guys are like very bright white. And the lights on this guy are like uh, kind of yellowy. A little orangey. Could be it. Um, do, do, do. And I... Uh, yeah, I'm glad I can start using the face cam again. It's a little different. It's a little weird. I'm not using uh, as much stage makeup as I used to, but hopefully you guys are all right with that. You hate taming Andrew Sarkis? Why, Tyler? Andrew Sarkis are so useful. Ooh, he's done. This one is finished. He's complete. This one is almost done. All right. How long do we have? A minute. Okay, it's time. This baby Equus uh, needs to die. I need the meat. <laughs> I I'll kill it with the pony, and then I'll then I'll get the meat. The noise it makes is so sad. 
so sad. All right, baby raptor. Take that. You give me that. Take all this. We're switching up how we do this. Because you're almost done, so you don't need any more food. You're fine. Um, Corrupt Brian. Hello, how's it going? Never seen a... Uh, they shift on the chair. Finally, how are the sunny news? Yeah, I'm I'm extremely shifty on the chair today. I did not sleep well the last two nights. I was sleeping on a cot, and it, it did um, bug my shoulder a little, so I'm a little a little shifty, just a bit. But the doggos are good. Um, they're pretty happy. Kopi's pouting because I didn't give her my new toy. She's silly like that. Yeah, didn't get the imprint on you, but that's all right. Seven minutes, 17 minutes. Oh, we're so close to a baby horse. This one's a quarter of the way grown. I'm excited. Eight minutes. Okay. Oh, twins. Oh, and they're both health mutated with the color. <gasps> yes. Oh, these both live. Because I don't know what the imprint on the other one's going to be like. Come here. That's lovely. I need them all to be passive. Because I'm not exactly always nice to my horses. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, excellent. Um, I'm actually going to turn this one off because now I have three. Actually, I should probably leave that going except it's a lot of work. I'll leave one going for now. I just don't want to be constantly running back and forth. I have a lot of critters coming down and I want to actually spend some time exploring. Um, maybe a little silly, but Kobe is still very precious. Oh, yeah. Kopi is adorable. I love her so much. <laughs> She's my baby dog. Um, she acts like a baby dog sometimes. But she's great, and she is very happy that I'm home. And she has not left the room that I'm in since I've gotten home. Don't think she was happy when I left. You know what? We'll leave them on. I'm raising these two. I'm raising that one. I don't have to keep all of them unless I get another health mute or a 59. I guess I can start uh, letting go of those equus as well. It's good to have the health mutations going. That's going to be the new plan. 518. I'm just glad I have those. It's good. It's just more levels and it's a faster way to get better equus. <laughs> The way the baby see the side flop out cracks you up, right? It's nice though because then they're not like constantly on top of the horse that you bred them out of. Are you kidding me, triplets? These all are gonna die. That's very sad. Wow. Okay, let's bring them over here. None of these are good. None of these are going to be kept. You liking the face cam? Aw, thank you, Redcore. I'm glad you like it. Um, I'm glad you like it, even sans makeup. The makeup has always been a personal choice, to be honest. Ah! That was a bigger jump than I thought. Dance. Passive. Behavior, stance, passive. Behavior, stance, passive. Options. Unclaim. Okay. This is a lot of baby horses I'm about to 
destroy. I feel a little bad. All right, I have a couple of minutes on that one. Come on, Speedy, let's do this quick. It's a little rough, but I will say it's a lot of meat. Switch. Switch. It won't switch. That's fine. Whatever. I have well-fed baby raptors. How long do you have? Two and a half minutes? Twelve minutes? Okay. Three minutes. Half of those. The other half of those. Very nice. Very nice. I like where this is headed. Uh, especially since she knows, uh, Penny is a little puppy still. Yes. Yeah, she is, a uh, Kofi's a baby. <laughs> Millie is the youngest, but Kofi is, she's only six, she's six years old, so she's getting up there, but she's not, uh, she's definitely a bit of a baby. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Um... Help me out, then twins, then triplets. I'm having all the luck. It's true. I'm having a ton of luck today. I'm actually very excited about it. It's very good news. And I'm going to have this lovely imprinted equus. I'm so excited for it. So many baby horses. Another twins. More twins. They aren't mutated, but there's twins. Go, go, go. This is fantastic. I mean, it's just good XP. This is going to get me to level 29. Definitely knew what level I was. Not lacking a pelt. That's true. Uh, death switching. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What's that? How's it going? Hello, hello. It's about the taking you and the twins. All the excitements. I know, right? It's weird. Dance passive. Options unclaim. This is a lot of chill breeding today. I'm actually kind of okay with it. Like I'm I'm picking up whatever drops are popping up in the area, but mostly it's just chill breeding. And that's alright. You know, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Level 29. Not even a foundation yet. It's all good. Fifteen seconds for you. I'm going to prioritize the other equus. After I get some of this. Kopi, I hear you. I need to go pick up more mushrooms as well. Nah, I won't starve to death. Close call, though. 48 seconds. All right. What do you actually want? Basic kibble. Pshh. That's not happening. Okay, I've got a little raptor pack. I need to worry about the imprints on the equus now. Uh, raptors, hello. I have had a fantastic day. Thank you so much for asking. Um, doo -doo -doo. Zella, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. I don't even know. Um, health, I guess. Level for me, I'm level 29. That's great news. How long do we have? Three minutes on you? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to have to walk away at some point and come back and just clean up the babies after. They don't move. Come for a walk with me all the way over here. Yay. Now come for a walk with me all the way over here. 
Imprint one. All right, let's see what that did to the health stat. 811. Okay, I'm looking at upper 800s, low 900s for a fully imprinted Equus. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. The movement speed's the bigger deal. But that's a pretty respectable starting place for a health, uh, a health stat. I will take it. All right, I can't do anything with you. Seven minutes to you. Okay. Got three minutes to another baby. That's fine. Uh, let's go take a quick look around, see what's up. I have not seen any new anythings. I should have brought the other raptors down. That's okay. That blue drop still is not going away. Need to try a no, gring, a no ingrams. Are there any tips? Um, oh my gosh. And get to level five as fast as possible and then focus on <gasps> getting to white drops. Uh, because white drops are going to do you the most good in the early game, obviously. Uh, it's different for every map, I will say. So on Scorched Earth, like, hang out in the canyons a lot because the temperatures are cooler, but you got to be really careful of the bad stuff, obviously. Um, yeah, being in that easy starting zone is actually kind of critical for Scorched. Like, it's really difficult to get to a drop if you're not in the starting zone, and even then it's kind of tough. I will say aberration. First thing you should do in aberration, tame yourself a moss chops or two. Get to where there are some horses. Tame some horses. Horses are very, very good in aberration uh, to start out. Like, they are a fantastic starting mount. Avoid raptors as much as possible because raptors are evil and they pounce and it's the worst thing ever. They don't pounce on other maps. Just this one now. I would very much like a tool to fall down into my lap. That'd be great. Kind of looking around for anything metal and shiny. Anything not standard. Nope. All just wood and normal things. This is a good area. Everything kind of falls right here. That's it. Yeah, that's an unfortunate thing. Uh, there is a downed raptor or two over here that I intend to grab. I'll take arrows. I will take arrows. Good stuff. Um, hope you want all the attention. You need the attention on Millie instead. Aw. Kofi does want all the attention. Millie also wants all the attention. They fight for it. It's actually very funny. Um, but it's okay. Like, they, they both get love. And then Natsu gets lots of love as well. I try to be very equal. Today is super fresh start, feeling good. What about you? How's it going your day? Uh, my day's been good. I'm at the very end of my day, obviously, but it's been good. It was a, a long day. Came back from a weekend trip helping a friend pick out a wedding dress, which was really, really fun. Very cool. I don't get to go do um, those kinds of things very often, so it felt very special. Help her out with her day. Uh, yeah, it was it was just really amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it was like a, a two night trip because they live pretty far away, and uh, that was exhausting. <laughs> the trip the trip part is a little bit much, <sighs> but it was good. It was worth it. 
Um, I can't see a thing up here. It's very dark. I'm glad we have these aberrant equus, because otherwise I would not be able to see anything. Is my bulb dog leveling up? It is. Okay. Regen a little faster, please. It's like two and a half, three at a time. Auto activate at full charge. Oh, I can kind of see up here. All right, I have no patience. Can I not? Why did my clap break? I don't like that. My clap keeps breaking. It's very frustrating. Oh, baby. No. Oh. The noises they make are too cute. It's painful. It's painful that I murder them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop being so adorable. Uh, low 900 is a good start. It's a very good start. Uh, it's a lot better than Speedy. Speedy's got 276. It's like three times as good. If not four. Almost four. So I'm pretty happy with it. That's a lot of meat I got off of these. Yeah, you're still doing fine. You know what? Hold on to all that. You keep holding on to that. I do have a bow, but I feel like the bow isn't doing me a lot of good at this point in time. And I don't want to lose it. So I just keep stashing my arrows and my bow. Uh, Raptress's wedding dress for my friend. For my friend. Not me. For my friend was very fun. All right. Progress has been made. Raptors are doing the things. I'm going to try to imprint this one. I actually was going to use this one as a breeder, so this will be ironic if I get this one. If this one gets a full imprint, I'll actually be a little upset, but that's okay. Make it work. Make it work. And then this Bob Dog ought to do a charge. So I'll be able to turn mine off. Yay. Yay. Okay. How are you, chat? How have you been? How's your week been? You guys looking forward to October when uh, pretty much all the games start dropping? Because I certainly am. Uh, is it possible for a new dungeon in Arc Mobile? Uh, Raptors, not right now. Um, the dev team is very, very busy working on Arc Switch. They are... They are converting a lot of maps. Um, so they're converting... Scorched Earth and the island to start with. They are also going to convert Aberration and Extinction and uh, Genesis, apparently. They are working on all of the maps. Exclusive news that they haven't really talked about a lot yet, but they I did talk to the devs when I was there, and it seems like they are also going to bring over the unofficial maps, including Ragnarok was specifically mentioned. So I'm very, very excited for Arc Switch. Um, and they're also working on Arc 2. So the dev team's very busy. So they don't have time for mobile right now, understandably slow. And I'm very sad for mobile, but I'm very excited for Arc in general. Uh, because Arc is getting a lot of good stuff in that. Can't believe I got a full imprint on this guy of all raptors, but whatever. He's decent. I will use him for things. Huh? A level 55. Okay, so this is a reject. Oh, they start wandering if they were following me. Uh-oh. I don't like...
like how their bodies keep walking after you've killed them. It's a little sad. Hi, Kopi. I agree, it is sad. Come here. Come here. You coming up? Kopi, what? Kopi, what? Kopi's bugging me. What are you doing? Come here. Okay. I don't know why she's bugging me, but she's bugging me. We have like an hour to go. We have like an hour left to go. What's the matter? What's the matter? Good dog. She wants to be a baby, so we, we now have a dog. <laughs> I guess this is just what we're doing for now. Alright, I should have very soon one of these. Hi, Millie. Um, what happened in Grove Street? What do you mean, Raptors? Casley says nice zebras. Thank you. Should have saved all the rejects to use as a distraction while killing the Karkinos. Uh, not a bad idea, honestly. I was only going to take raptors. All right, I've got a lap dog now. That works for me. This is also a throwaway. There we go. Good girl, Colby. I can't move my left hand very well, but that's all right. Kopi's happy, and that's what matters. All right. I almost have enough. I think I'm going to take this guy out. I don't think I want to use him for breeding. It's too annoying. Um... She really wants the new toy. She really does. I think she mostly wants time with me, is really what it is. Mother daughter time's good for the soul. It is. It's good for the copy. <gasps> I wish I was level 35. That's a bummer. Okay, though. That's almost grown. How are we doing on these? Two minutes. I should really hang around for that imprint. I need the imprints on the good equus. I have to prioritize that. You tamed your first Andrew Sarkis. Very nice, Tyler. Is that a good level? How'd it go? I know you said you hated it, but does that mean you just hadn't gotten one yet? Like, how's that going now? There we go. That gives me five tech raptors to run around with. A varying ability. But they're mate boosted. So I'm feeling okay about it. We'll see how it goes. One wants basic kibble. I'll have six once he's grown, but that's all right. <sighs> what do you want? I'm so impatient when it comes to imprints. Can't wait until I can imprint you and be done with it. Then I'll have to come back in 20 more minutes. Level 20, but it's your first one. I mean, once you have one, the game gets a lot easier and shorter. Andrew Sarkis are very strong for a passive tame. Like, very strong. Very fast swimmers. You can kind of cross all the water without worrying about it. Like, kind of a good thing to get. So even if it's just your first one, um, now you know how to tame them, and I'm sure you can tame more. Do, 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 do. Just waiting sucks. Three minutes on you, seven on you. So many equus. I forget what I was doing with these ones. Ah, these ones are burners as well. You know, I might 
I might take out a little bit of an Equus army and sacrifice some of them. Now that I have a health mute one, I can rebuild the army. I'd feel a little bad, but we could do it. So close. What do you want? Da, 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 da. I can use the Reject Equus as Carcanos bait. That would be good. You want to walk? That's fine. You want to walk as well? That's also fine. We can do that. That's one. That's two. Come on back. Perfect. All right. Speedy, I need more of these aquatics. Good stuff. How are you guys doing on food? Okay-ish. Close enough. Hey, give me half of that back. Dang it, take half. There we go, close enough. Bit of a struggle, okay. Okay, so those guys are both inter in imprinted, that's the word. My brain didn't wanna say the right word. Okay, uh. I got about seven minutes to the next one. Let's take the raptors down at least. My three new raptor friends. One, two. Ah, wrong way. Whoops. Well, that worked. Run through here real fast. Okay. I've got a little raptor army. It's kind of nice. Uh, not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to do something with them. At some point. Actually... Let's see how much damage I can do with these five raptors. All right, I am much faster than they are, but that's fine because I can run away. Let's bring them over here and set them loose on some critters and see what we can do. Uh, Tamer Ravager. I want to. I need to get the imprints on those uh, health mutated equus first, and then I can. I'm gonna try to use one of those to imprint or to tame a ravager. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a try. But this guy's too weak. He will not survive. Okay. So here's the trick. They're not the fastest, but they're respectable. And you do have good health. You don't. You actually have terrible health. I'm going to give all of this meat to one of the better health raptors. Okay, but we can kill, uh, Parasaurs. Parasaurs now, which is decent. I can't get to this raptor. 
There we go. Okay. I need that one raptor to stop being annoying. Very hard to see with all of them behind me. They're so bright. Um, raptors are really helpful. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm going to see what kind of damage I can do with them. We're going to check it out. I'm going to see what I can take on. Uh, and she says he. Hello. Uh, gonna hit the hay. Good night, Red Core. Thank you so much for hanging out. Don't want any named dinos. What's that? Uh, if you guys have name suggestions for like the Raptor Army, go for it. This Equus has a name. I'm more than willing to start the naming process on the other ones as well. Let's see how they do against other raptors. Because they're not the highest level. But these raptors have been bugging me for a while. Over here. Ah. Uh-oh. They're just getting destroyed. Ah! Didn't see that one. No, Speedy died. That didn't go well at all. Culpy, you're fine. Well, I think the raptors are fine. I just wasn't. There you go, Kofi. That's a green drop. That's a green drop. Can I get to it? I don't know why I'm even trying. I don't know that I can get up there. I don't know that it's worth attempting. Completely the wrong direction from where I need to be going. Nope. Cannot quite figure out how to climb this wall. That is probably the most, the singular most frustrating thing about those drops is that they're in places you literally can't reach without climbing and I do not have climbing picks. Ah, I've made a mistake. I don't even have aquatic mushrooms. That's good. There's the aquatic mushrooms. Okay. Okay. These have clearly got to stay on my hot bar. Okay. Now I got to try to get back to my base. Call down another horse. Eventually I have to go and try and get back uh, whatever I lost. I had a lot of stuff over there. This is the wrong direction. I am in the wrong spot. I'm immediately thirsty. That's fantastic. I think my bulb dog is probably dead too. I'm going to have to breed another bulb dog. 
Oh, I'm doing good today, guys. Doing real good now. Um, it is what it is. If any other offer comes uh, to act in a Dino-related movie, would I accept that offer? Uh, it depends on the terms, obviously, but I think it would be fun. Um, work. Very much work. But I think it would be a very cool opportunity, and I think I would definitely seriously consider it. If the opportunity came to uh, be in a movie at all, I would consider it. Or do voice acting would be very, very fun. I would very much enjoy that. <laughs> One of the male equuses should be named Bay. I do like that. Hi, Kopi. Are you uncomfortable laying down? You're a little squished on my lap. Is dog. Uh, like a scientist role? I mean, that's kind of right in my wheelhouse since that's actually what I do. A little on the nose, but, you know, there are lots of uh, scientist actresses. Lots. I say I know two off the top of my head. All right. She was done. Good girl. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> my stamina Go stick my nose in the lake here diplo hi ah i mean i guess he pushed me the right way but wow rude rude much i get up there eventually Ugh. It's a good thing I got those other equuses going. I need something that's got a little bit more, like, health and toughness and can take a few hits and do a bit more damage. Kopi the Cuddlebug Doggo. She really is. She doesn't normally like being on my lap while I stream, so I'm actually very impressed that she uh, wanted cuddles today. <sighs> we wait. Hello, Parasaur. That's cool. Okay. I gotta leave a horse or two down as well as spares. Because it's a little tricky going back and forth. Aha. I'm glad I parked him there. Come here. My other mutated equus, the not as pretty mutated equus, but he is mutated. And he does the job. He gets me up and down. That's what I need. He actually looks okay in this light. He's not the best color if you look at him under standard light, but he's not the worst. Because he's got, like, the light, he looks brighter than that color actually is. And I'll take it. Eh. Yay. Uh, can I get through you, please? Thank you. Perfect. I need those. What are you doing up there? Okay, there's those two. There's... Ooh, those are mutated. Just one, right? Yeah, just the one. They didn't get the color. Alright, let's bring them all over. I'll pick who lives and who dies in a moment. Okay. Uh, you want to go on a walk. Are you fully imprinted? No. Perfect. I needed this. Why? Why would you do it that way? Why of all directions would you go that way? You're going to be stuck forever in there. 
Come on. There it is. Come on. Wow. All right. Eight hundred eighty-four. That's a respectable start. I will take that. Two hundred five melee. That's uh better than it was. So we'll take that. Tyler, good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. This is not ideal, but we'll do what we can. Um. Everybody's passive. Don't follow me. Okay, cool. That did work. I'm unclaiming the level 55s. Because I don't want them. I will keep those two other level 57s. Because they could be useful. And uh, this one also needs to come over here and accept fate. Do, do, do. Bubbles, hello, how's it going? Karina, hello. I am doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'd probably be doing a little better if I hadn't just uh, completely messed up and lost my fastest equus and... Yeah, not ideal in some ways. Oh, I don't have my pick anymore. Ooh, come here. If I stop you right next to these, will you eat them? Answer no, he will not, because he's useless. All right, I'm going to grab a pick. And then put the pick away. You were not helpful at all. I don't even know what all you got, but that's what you're going to carry. Okay, I don't want... Any of that. Actually, I also don't want those. Or those. Or that. Everything else is on the pony. Okay. 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 I'm getting it figured out. I'm just like re resetting here mentally. It's a little, little stressful. You take those. You take those. How long do you guys have till imprint? Six minutes. It's a little. A little rough. Okay. Put that back. Okay. Um, you are going to be my friend and come over on the edge like you were before. Just in case I need help. I'm going to take one of the other horses, go see what I can recover. Were you imprinted? Yes, you were. Hmm. Again, with the low health. Uh, why do I look so sleep deprived? Me? Because I have been. I have been out of town for the last two weekends and I'm very tired. <laughs> But I'm okay. Uh, everything's good. Like, everything's fine. It's just, ugh, it was a lot of traveling and a lot of uh, not sleeping in my own house have been a little rough on me, as, as they are on a lot of people. I need brown mushrooms for the aquatics. There we go. Yay. No, I'm not stressed about that. Okay. All right, let's go see if I can recover my stuff. 
my raptors. The raptors are the big ones. Um, the pick and the hatchet are also kind of important, but everything else, like, it's mostly berries and mushrooms I can regather. Not the hugest deal. Ooh. Still fast enough to get through those. I like it. Um, I should sleep just saying it's good for you, Karina. Yes, it is good for me, and I agree I should sleep. I have not had a chance to, but definitely tonight, you can best bet I am going to catch up a little bit. It's going to be amazing. I'm very excited for it. Oh, the Sarcos are the problem. <gasps> no! Hard to tell who's going to win that battle. Oh. Oh, they did. That's nice. And my bulb dog's alive. Okay. Um. I don't know why I whistled. Okay. Speedy, no. Speedy had so many good things. I need the meat. Alright, I'm going to take all this. And put it on this equus, pretty much. Pick you up. One of my tech raptors had some stuff. We'll take that, put it on another tech raptor. They're a little hurt. I only have four left. They're not in the best shape, we'll say. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have pants! Guys, I have pants. You're very hurt. Guys, I have pants. I was not expecting the pants. The unexpected pant gift is very nice. I am a big fan. Alright, guys, I'm not going to risk you anymore. Um, let's go heal up a little. You've done a lot of work. That's right. I forgot. I have to whistle at them. One left. Come here. Alright, we'll take them home. I have pants! I finally have pants! Oh, I'm so excited. You know what I'm gonna do while I'm down here because I'm not a fool and the water is annoying. I'm gonna drink the water. There we go. Pants! Iggy No Pants is the name. Iggy has pants now. Now it's Iggy's got pants. I am so happy. Pants, pants, pants. I have pants. That's a big deal. It was a little rough fighting the raptors and the sarco. The raptors um, definitely had a hard time. I'm surprised my bulb dog's alive. Definitely need a stronger horse, but this is a great start. If I keep breeding raptors, I will be able to keep wandering around. I think what I'm going to do is try to get like a... A little pack, a little army, a true army, not just like five. I'm going to get like ten raptors. And we're going to raise them, and we're going to see if we can't get, like, like a really good army of, of things. And hopefully that will keep me alive long enough to, to do some stuff. The celebration of getting pants, guys. It's huge. I have armor for the first time in, like, 20 hours of playing this game. I have armor. I'm very happy about the pants. I've lost a raptor. I only have to... I hate when they do that. I will say this speed of horse is better for the raptor army. They can keep up a little better. Alright. Actually, you know what? Stay following the equus. That's fine. Um, don't follow me. 
You stay down here. You're a burner equus anyway. I don't know why I'm bothering to, like, move you. Um. I'm gonna get some stuff. They're very bright. I don't really want that. They've got plenty of, like, meat, and it's good. They're doing a lot of harvesting for me. Look at all that. That's nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that horse down here. Take all this stuff back up. in a minute after I look for tools and things wonderful things stuff give me stuff not over there over here this is not a stuff falling area fine I hate it, but I'll come back over here where I can hear it coming out. Boring. Want tools game. Come on. Ugh. I'm in a very bad spot for this particular... Particular earthquake. I don't like that. No good stuff. Awful. Very few things coming up at all. Pretty much no gems, even. Um, need shades to hang with the tech raptor pack? I know, seriously. Like, gamma down. Pedagoner, her name is Iggy, and you discovered your channel kind of coincidental? You think not. That's actually amazing. I love that. Iggy's a great name for an iguana. Um, what kind of iguana is it? Just a regular green or is it a color morph? I'm very curious. I had a blue morph iguana for a while. I will probably be getting another one. I love them very much. That did not work at all. Eventually I'll get up there. Try turning bloom off in settings if it hurts my eyes. Yeah, I might do that. Like normally... I think I usually do turn the bloom effects off. I like them because they help a lot with, like, the fairy lights. They make them look very good. But on the tech critters, it's a little bit much. All right, mushrooms it is. Because uh, that's not being cooperative. Do, do, do. A few turns. It's going to take a while. There we go. Good news is the raptor army does work. Bad news is raptor army needs work. Does work, but needs work. Works fine. Could be better. All right, let's bring you back over here. I very much like having this horse up here if I get stuck. It's great. Stay. Oh, you need things. What do you need? Cuddle. You want to go on a walk? I love it. Let's go on a walk. Yay. Fully imprinted equus. Actually, you're very much in the way there. Come here. Come here. Turn around. There it is. He's too fast already. He's doing the same thing the other one was doing. You know what? You can hide. That's fine. Yay! Oh, there we go. This one. Fully imprinted. Health mute equus. I need a name for that one. You can chill in there. Ah. There we go. I lined them up a little too well. Stuff. 
They do look good sometimes. Yeah. That's the issue I have. Okay. You guys are good. Eight minutes. All right. Bulldog's fine. Just gonna... This is a equus I don't want. Another equus I don't want. Let's get them over here. I'm going to use this to level up my new level 57 beautiful health mutated equus. Call it Flash. I like that. All right. We'll name her Flash. Behavior, stance, passive. Behavior, stance, passive. Options, unclaim. Hollow, how's it going? <laughs> You're super late. I guess it's getting there. Um, we have a little ways left to go. Dang it. I didn't mean to. Okay. All right. Now I got to do these two. Come over here where I can see you. I want you all in one spot. I want all the babies in one spot so I can murder them efficiently. <laughs> Is Arc Mobile easier than Arc on Steam? Uh, Ra. So, no. Yes and no. Um, Arc Mobile has some things about it that are easier and some things about it that are tougher. There are parts of it that I think require more skill. Um, but for the most part, I would say PC Arc is quote unquote harder. Uh, the, the challenges in PC Arc are a little bit more. I'm going to use the word robust. I don't really know what other word fits there. They're, they're just a little bit harder. Not saying Arc Mobile's easy, but in some ways, in some ways it's easier. Okay. So this horse is going to be named Flash. Flash is going to get some health. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Flash is also going to hold all this for me. 930 health. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm very excited. Uh, Flash is going to be very strong. Oh, I have another baby over here. This is very sad. Levels are good, though. Okay, 33. Base damage is 33. Could be worse. What do I need? Oh, everything. Hide. I guess I forgot to take thatch and wood and... Stone. Stone's important, too. I don't have flint. Okay, we'll take the flint. We'll also repair that. Ah, too many things. Most of these things need to stay over here. Okay, that's good enough. All right. Yes. Okay. So four minutes to your imprint. Four minutes to your imprint. I guess I should probably hang around for four minutes. I guess. Oh. That's right. Hey, Tech Raptor, you can hold all this. We don't want that. I'll be honest. Um, cool. Okay. Flash has another level. I want to get to at least a thousand. Very happy that I have a bulb dog. We'll get to a thousand health. That's only a couple of levels. Alpha, thank you. I am glad you enjoy the face cam. I struggle with it sometimes myself, but I'm glad you enjoy it. All right, we're going to come down here and grab some uh, 
berries, do a little harvesting leveling, because that's easy at first. Basic stuff. It's a little slow going, but it's uh it's getting there. One more level will give me 1k health. All right, I'm almost there. Oh, so slow now. There it is. 1,000 health. Uh. I really don't need most of this. Ten weight. Every single one of those is ten weight. That's ridiculous. There we go. Oh, another blue drop. That's great. Yay! Okay, 1,000 health. I'm very happy with that. Can we not? Okay. Yay, my light's back on. 1,000 health. I don't know what I can do with that. Hopefully something. 1,000 health and some pants. That's the title of the next stream, by the way. We have pants. Pants at last. Wait. Are you serious? Okay, game. Game really does not want me using this rock for whatever reason today. Okay. Mushrooms it is. I hate it. It's silly. We use the mushrooms. Fine. I just need to go and imprint the other horses. And bring down the other raptor. Eh. I might take everything off uh, of my character. And... Attempt to use Flash to tame a Ravager. I don't think that's going to go well. We only have a thousand health. But you never know. No, you can't have cooked meat. Yeah, you can have a walk. That's fine. Good pony. Cooked meat. What a monster. Yeah, because these two equus are almost done growing. We've got a lot more. And these guys have the cool color, the gray, which I like rather a lot. Be cool if you got a black body and black hoof with the white stripes equus and named it X-ray. I agree. Okay. Yeah, just hold all my important stuff. Hold all the important things. You're fine. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring down the tech raptor. Because I can. Come here. All right. I'm not very fast, but I have some health. I took everything off except the bulb dog, which the little dog's like, it's okay. I have I have more. Um, back body black hoof with white stripes equals same to X-ray. Yes, actually, I love that, especially um. Hi, Millie. I have a puppy. Especially since they're aberrant, so they glow a little in the dark. That'd be very cool. Big fan of that. 
New to Arc, now you have is a tablet that you can play on. So what are some tips for Arc Mobile? Tips for Arc Mobile. Let's see. Um, I have a beginner's guide if you'd like to check it out. But I would say mostly get comfortable with the controls. I would say start on single player if you're unfamiliar with the game. Because it will do you the most good. Um, like you'll... You'll have an easier time, like, adjusting to the game if you start on single player rather than try to start on a server. There won't be as much lag to deal with. It'll kind of give you the hang of the controls, etc. It's good stuff. Uh, depends on the very early game. You're going to want to know how to... Oh. I don't know if this is a good idea. I... This is probably a very bad idea. Ah. <sighs> We shall see. We shall see, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a try. Scott, thank you so much for the super chat. Super appreciate it. Writing backstory and actual storyline for a new D&D game you're going to be running with some friends. Good times. Sounds awesome. Hope that goes well for you. Okay. <laughs> we don't have that much health. Really. If they're high level, I'm in a lot of trouble. I was kind of hoping to lure one. That did not work. I was kind of hoping to lure one away. Maybe over here. That they saw. Okay. 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 They're very, that one's very strong. Two, three. The other one's very weak, but that one is very strong. The high level one is very strong. I need to get them separated somehow. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. By risking my life. Let's do this. Hey, look, Stegos. Okay, one's dead. I might actually get him killed. But he's almost got the stego killed. Dang it, he ate the other one. He's very strong, but he's not pack leader anymore. That's a very strong Ravager. He's almost dead. He's running. That hurt. I totally missed what level that was. Level 76. Okay. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of good XP. I got a level two. I'll take it. It would be very convenient if a pick were to fall from the sky right now. Hint, hint, game. Could use just a little pick. That's not a pick, but okay. Also not a pick. I'm really sad he didn't have any tools. That's okay. That's good to know. I think I could do a smaller, a lower level Ravager, but a level 76 is too high. For sure. Stegos are a good way to kill them, though. 
noted. I'm running by a stego, I'm fine. And if I had been on any lower level of a horse, that would have been awful. So that's good to know. Why did it attack you if it was running from the stego? I think I just got too close. I don't think it was actually running. I think I just got too close and it uh, aggroed onto me instead. Which is fine. Now this horse is unfortunately on passive. Which is not ideal. I have to change that. I want the horse to be able to defend itself. But that's very, very good. Okay, I feel a little more confident now. Like, okay, I have a horse. We can do things. Uh, check the other Ravager bag for tools. There wasn't a bag. It ate it and it left no bag. Sad, sad. Um, I love the No Ingram Challenge. Am I continuing the Scorched Earth one? Yes, I don't just run it on Twitch, Scott. I have a PC series. Scorched Earth No Ingrams, that is single player that I'm running uh, as a video series on YouTube. I am still running that. It's just been an insane few weeks. I haven't been home uh, more than half of my time. Uh, and I mean that like not counting work. It's been, it's been a busy, busy time of the year for me. I'm hoping to be able to get a video on Arc Switch out. That's kind of my priority. And then I would like to return to Ark on Scorcher Earth this week, next week, and maybe get a few more videos going on that, because I do want to get that going and make that a thing. So, uh, bear with me. I want it, I want it to happen. It's just, uh, it's just a struggle right now. I am so proud of Flash. Killed a level 76 Ravager after we had some wild stegos beat it up. I definitely want to find an isolated Ravager and try to tame it. I think we could manage it if I found the right one. You're garbage. You're garbage. That's a terrible thing to say. I don't need you. How's that? A little better. Come on. Stop following me. Okay. Behavior, stance, passive. Options and claim. This is fabulous. All right. Eventually. I will get mutations <laughs> that are useful. <laughs> okay, I left all my stuff on you. even know why I'm making the horse carry all this. I don't need it. Um, we should have Equus War Armor. That would actually be really fun. Hi, Millie. Uh, Vendelta, do I have mods installed? I do, uh, but they're not on this particular game. This is a vanilla game with a challenge mode. It's called No Ingrams. It's not a mod, but it is, uh, basically... Me saying I will not use any of the typical, um, what are they called? Ingrams. <laughs> Been a long day, guys. I am a little tired. Okay, uh, you don't want to... How long do we have? 12 minutes? That's forever. 
Kind of okay. All right, Flash. Let's go. I want to try to find enough stuff to get my ghillie shirt together. That's the goal. So I'm going to take Flash. Uh, I'm going to take the Raptors. All right, that was a lot of whistling. Let's see how many of them I got. Oh, I got all of them. Perfect. Let's see what we can do. I've got some uh, firepower. Go run along the uh, water line there. See if there's anything I can take on. I should probably check on the status of my raptors. Make sure they're healed. And leveled. You have plenty of health. Plenty of health. You're healed. And you're healed. Perfect. Let's go. Ingrams, maybe. Yeah, that's the word. Alright, actually, because this horse is slower, they keep up better. Which I appreciate about them. And I believe they're all on attack my target. Okay. And then I'm going to whistle them to attack my targets. Uh, I always forget what the whistle is. I can direct them, but the my target is better. And if I get attacked, uh, everything's fine. Cool, cool. Guys, we're doing it. We're I'm like functional in the game. It's fantastic. Let's see what we can do. I might even go check out up top. Ooh. I'm torn. Let's go up to the lake. Because I might be able to get a drop in those little areas there. I only have a few minutes left, I guess, but let's go up to the lake and see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta count my raptors. That way. I need to go that way. Okay, five. I constantly have to count my raptors. It's a struggle. I feel so much safer right now <laughs> wandering around than I did before. Uh, funny little thing about horse armor called barding. Oh. I wonder why it was called barding. That's a cool fact. I feel like I knew that at some point, but it's been a while since I've done anything... Oh. I mean, okay. You ignore me, I ignore you. That's that's all right with me. I was thinking about knocking him out when he was stuck on the dodic. But now he's running like a coward. Let's go see if there are drops. Uh, bye, Ra. Thank you so much for hanging out. Do appreciate it. Yes. That's a lot of ravagers. I can't around the e- eh. There. Go get him! Go get him, boys! Oh, Ravager.
Ravagers do so much damage. That might be the end of my Raptor army. 76. Level 4, level 76. 104. Well, there goes all my tech raptors. That was a bit much. They didn't even kill one of them. Oh my lord, okay. Dang, I just wanted to drop. Okay. Rude. I feel a lot less safe now. Ravagers are too strong. They're just too strong. They're stronger than direwolves, I think. <laughs> like, base damage-wise. And they just wander around the quote-unquote easy areas. Alrighty. Well... Let's go back home. Uh, I'm gonna have to breed up more raptors. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, I have to pass the Carno now. Carnos are also mean. Oh. Uh oh. There we go. Who's the higher level here? The Carno's hurt. But the Stego is going to lose that. I wish I could see how much damage he was doing. Okay. Well, I'm out. That's too much. Things are too high level. I only have baby animals. Uh, all right. So that's not a thing. Um, I need to find an isolated Ravager that's low level and tame that. That's my goal. I will eventually get that done. Once I have tamed a low level Ravager, I will look for another low level Ravager and tame that. And eventually I will have a mating pair. And eventually, I can make a little low-level Ravager army who will be stronger than raptors. And then, from there, world domination. Bleed can change the battle round as soon as you can hopefully get one. Yeah. It'll help me a lot. And I just, like, they're just so strong and fast, like, and they can ride the zip lines and stuff. So once I get a saddle, I'll be unstoppable for Ravagers. But, oof, taming one without a trap is really a, a difficult prospect. Like, a, a horse could knock him out, theoretically. I just don't know that the horse could survive long enough to perform the knockout. Especially a low-level horse. Maybe if it was a level 4 Ravager, yeah. But certainly not, like, a level 104. <laughs> go, does it go, and welcome on in. Running around a flax with equus geared armor would be awesome. Right? Equus armor would be nice. Uh, I will say that they they have the saddles of varying levels of armor, but it would be cool if they had like a warhorse skin or variant. Oh, that'd be really cool, actually. Be really really cool. Ah, home safe, ish. I want my level. There we go. One thousand ain't gonna be enough. Oh, it goes up so slow. I need to get some. I need to get some melee mutes going. I need like five hundred melee more. I need to be doing like a hundred a hit. That's pretty pretty terrible. All right, but Flash is my new horse. It's a battle horse. Not focusing on speed. Got to rebuild the Raptor army. Got to keep working on my Equus mutations. That's the goal. I will replace all of my other Equus with uh, health mutated Equus so they're stronger. My burner Equus. There we go. 
that's the plan. I'll see if I can make that work. Man, that took exactly 10 minutes for me to lose all those raptors. <laughs> that's awful. Flash, let's give him some berries. That was not the right berries. Uh, how about those? That's better. All right, guys. Well, it's a start. Um, yeah, we've got a long ways to go, but at least we've got it started. I will eventually be able to make progress on this game. I have a smithy. I have a forge. I just need a foundation. And eventually, one of these drops has to give me a foundation. I hope. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. At least I have pants now. I like having pants. Grand, hello. If I consider taming roll rats, Bill, yes, uh, I need honey for that. And to get honey, I kind of need a bear. And bears are uh, also very, very strong. So once I get a stronger horse, potentially I will do that. Or tranks, you know, just in case. Um, on mobile, can you use a code or something for element? Uh, if you have a code for element, you can get it. They have not given out codes in quite a while. They've given out partner codes, which actually I could do a giveaway on because I have some still. Um, but yeah, not a lot of uh, not a lot of codes that they drop randomly anymore, unfortunately, because the development isn't super active at the moment. But that's all right. All right, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and hanging out. Super appreciate it. Hope you guys had a great time. I certainly did. And yeah, guys, I am going to go ahead and uh, feed the dog. So please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will go ahead and catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.